Let's talk about my five spin method and how to use it to turn the tables on a casino's attempt to manipulate you. After over a dozen visits within three months at a paramutual racetrack with slot machines outside of Cincinnati, Ohio, I found a clear method to winning I'd not seen before. I first watched someone else use it, then used it myself. Did I make a profit? Yes, I did. The true power of this strategy is that nearly all of its winnings are profit. I had help discovering the strategy. Yes, a casino employee told me they'd seen somebody win multiple hand pays using it. All I had to do was listen to what they were saying. I realized it wasn't luck. The casino set up its slot machines to perform this way for good business reasons. But it's easily leveraged by you because it's an easy to see winning pattern. Here's what I saw. After the first win on a slot machine called a taste, I wouldn't win again. I saw this behavior again and again on every slot machine I played at that casino. I decided to play slot machines for up to five spin. If I got any non-zero win, I'd stop playing and move to the next slot machine machine. This strategy is essentially about collecting those tastes from machine after machine. Its first advantage is that it's inexpensive and doesn't require much bankroll to be successful. If you play high limit slots, you'll find you need a much smaller bankroll, say maybe only $500 instead of $2,500. That's what I did. When I first tried this strategy, I sat at a $5 or $10 denomination slot machine, put my whole $500 bankroll into it, and played until I'd made up to five bets or one. I did this on machine after machine, right down one row and up another. I won three hand pays on three different high limit machines within 25 minutes, each hand pay occurring mere minutes apart as 25 minutes was taken up with slot attendants servicing each hand pay. Over months, the casino slowly turned down wins from my five spin method. After 18 months, those wins reduced from low five figure hand pays to four figure hand pays to making a profit of $500. I remember being disappointed, but then remembered it was still a profit. But why do operators set up their casinos to offer tastes? Because casinos want us to stay, spend that initial win, and proceed to empty our pockets into the machine. Yet lots of slots enthusiasts can plainly see that's what the casino wants. My five spin method says do the opposite of what the casino is hoping for. Instead of staying and spending the taste and more, move on immediately to another machine and collect its taste. On machine after machine, collect those tastes. Eventually, the casino can't afford to give out big tastes because everyone figures it out. That's one of its disadvantages. Being too obvious makes it a losing business plan, so casinos turn down the wins over time. Another disadvantage to the five spin method is it only works at about one in four casinos. Before spending your hard won bankroll, first check if your casino has set itself up to have those tastes you want to collect. I know we're all gamblers, but I care nobody loses their bankroll. There's an easy and inexpensive test you can use first to check your casino setup by heading out to the main casino floor. Find 20 slot machines with the smallest minimum bets you can find. Slot machines can be expensive to play even at minimum bet. Here's the test procedure. Put your chosen bankroll into a machine. Make five minimum bets, but stop if you win anything at all. If you won anything on the first 10 machines, continue until you've tested 20 machines and keep track of how many machines gave you a taste before you moved on. How many gave you a taste? Was it more than half of them? Good, as a casino has passed its first test. Now consider your remaining bankroll. How much is left over? With 50% or more machines giving out tastes, what was your return? If you broke even or made a profit, that's great. But if you didn't break even, that means your casino gives out tastes but failed to give out a positive return. That's bad. Or not good, rather. It might be possible to make an adjustment to your test procedure. More on that in a moment. Our first evaluation was to see how many machines gave out a taste. Our second evaluation was profitability to determine if the five spin method is worth doing at your casino. But First, consider this. You might initially think an 84% return is terrible, but that's not necessarily true. An 84% return might be wonderful at super tight casinos where everybody else is losing far more. Is that what's happening at your casino? And what about breaking even? That's exactly what you want if your gambling goal is earning players club points or playing longer by endlessly cycling your bankroll. But what if your return is too small? Can anything be done? 
Yes. What do you do if your return isn't as great as you'd like? Is it ever? Combine the five spin method with my location, location, location strategy to have a combined plan to win. Here's what you do. Repeat strategy one, but this time only play slot machines viewable from a distance. You know, on end of row machines or the specific machine in a carousel, which can be easily seen from a place where people gather, like a casino entrance or cafe. At Soaring Eagle in Michigan, my first test on 20 random machines gave me an 84% return, but a second test of 20 end of row only machines resulted in a 161% return. Bonus! With my $100 bankroll, I went from a $14 loss to a $61 profit. Now, maybe you want to know my other winning strategies for slots enthusiasts. In this playlist right here, I'll explain each. So if it's important to you to win or win more at slots, click the playlist you see on your screen right now to get details on how to take advantage of your casino instead of the other way around. So click that playlist, and I'll see you in the next one.